About 90% of the bees that you see on this frame are female bees or worker bees and they're all capable of stinging. But as you can tell, they're remarkable, remarkably docile. I'm not doing anything right now to threaten them, so I'm not actually even getting stung as I grab these big balls of bees. A couple of things to notice here as well is that as the bees patrol this comb, they're undergoing or doing a number of different tasks on, the cell, on these cells. Bees that have their heads into these empty cells might be feeding young larvae or ensuring that the next generation of bees will be successfully raised. I actually have two different types of bee here. The bigger of the two bees is the drone honeybee, the male honeybee. He's unable to sting. You can see that his abdomen is much rounder and quite large. Drones also have bigger eyes than workers do. The smaller of the two bees is the worker bee. It's a female bee. She's got smaller eyes, her body's smaller in general, but she's the one that does all of the work in the colony. In fact, drones do nothing but eat and mate with the queen while workers build the colony, feed the babies, take care of the queen, go out and collect pollen, go out and collect nectar, and turn it into honey. Drones are very interesting because their reproductive organs are all stored inside of their abdomen. So in order for a drone to mate, he really typically, and I'm not kidding here, he actually explodes, which pushes his reproductive organs out of his abdomen. Queens and drones do not mate in the colony. They both leave the colony and mate in the air. So this drone, with his big eyes, will be able to fly through the air looking for virgin queens to mate with. When he finds one, he'll actually mount her, and that explosion that I was just describing will take place forcing out his reproductive organs. And that's a drone's reproductive organs. He'll actually attach to the queen in air this act of exploding will kill him and the queen sometimes can be seen flying through the air with the drone attached to her and he's hanging down below her and once she's done she'll release him. So that's a drone's reproductive organs and in order to invert his reproductive organs he actually dies in the process.